So this is the second in a series on survival and a sense of purpose. Uh, this is on concentration camp survivors. Um, and again, it's a series on looking at does uh, having a sense of purpose in your life increase your lifespan? It certainly looks like it. So this one was um, on, uh, again, Holocaust survivors in Israel. There was another one which I'll report in a different video on retirees in the U.S. Let's talk about the Holocaust survivors. Here's the, the uh, academic title, Comparison of Mortality and Comorbidity Rates Between Holocaust Survivors and Individuals in the General Population in Israel. JAMA, um, 2019, uh, I think February. And look at the curves. These curves tell it all. Um, the blue curve is folks that is everybody else, and the yellow curve is the Holocaust survivors. Now, <clears throat> is it because they were just healthier genetically or physically? Mm -mm, not really. These people had more heart attack, uh, hypertension, cancer, osteoporosis, and other diseases, but still they lived longer. So, um, Let's put that in, in English. The Holocaust paradox, long lives for those who, who survived. My elementary school teacher taught that those who emerged from the horrors of the camps would die young. It's a reasonable assumption, but wrong. That was from Bloomberg opinion. So let's get into the key points of the study. Um, 39,000 Holocaust survivors and 35,000 control individuals were selected. So this was a big study. It's not small. And yes, the overall more, um, uh, comorbidity rate was higher. In other words, other diseases like the heart attack and the, and, uh, the uh, hypertension, the things that I mentioned, those were much more common in the, uh, in the Holocaust survivors. But they survived longer. Now, what's the meaning of all this? Well, it suggests that Holocaust survivors may experience more comorbidities and uh, the mortality in the rate in the group may be lower, which may be associated with improved health literacy, unique resilience, other characteristics. Uh, again, is it uh, genetic or physical? Again, probably not because they had all these... Uh, fatal chronic diseases, even more so than the others. So here's the introduction. We're going to get into the detail on this. A growing body of literature suggests that having a sense of purpose is associated with physical and mental health and overall quality of life. Purposeful living has been defined in various ways. In general, purpose in life can be defined as a self-organized life aim that stimulates goals, promotes healthy behaviors, and gives meaning to life. So how about this study? Where did these people come from? Um, well, previous studies of, uh, they came from the Maccabee Health Services in, um, in Israel, people that were born between 1911 and 1945, and control individuals born in Israel during the same years and insured by the same service. Data co were collected from uh, January 98th through December 31st of 2017. Now, again, a, lot, a big study, lots of uh, survivors, 39,000 of them and 35,000 controls. What did, the, what did the survivors actually have in terms of disease rates? Well, hypertension, um, obesity, chronic kidney disease, cancer, dementia, ischemic heart disease, non-myocardial infarction, and myocardial infarction, even osteopenic, uh, osteoporotic fractures. You know, you go back and you think about, well, maybe it's better health behaviors. Again, obesity rates were higher. So um, maybe, you know, you can argue that one both ways. You could say, well, Maybe obesity is not really a behavior issue anyway. Hmm. Total side issue. Let's get back to the, uh, to the study. Is it genetics, physical, or emotional characteristics? Again, not likely. Um, 
with all of the um, the increased uh, comorbidities, the increased uh, chronic diseases. Although many individuals in ca death camps died, those who, who survived may have had higher resilience from more favorable genetic, physical, and emotional characteristics. Again, with the other diseases, probably not uh, genetic or physical. The findings showed higher rates of comorbidities, lower uh, mortality among survivors, again, may be associated with health literacy and unique characteristics. More research is needed. So they get a little bit clinical here in terms of describing um, the experience. There's a broad understanding that a genocide experience sustained for five years would have serious consequences on the psychological and physical well-being of individuals because of psychosocial trauma, post-traumatic injury, poor hygiene, prolonged malnutrition, suboptimal preventive means. In the first part of our study, a cross-sectional analysis revealed excessive rates of comorbidities, in other words, other chronic diseases, among survivors. After adjustment, for these, and this, again, was adjust, adjusted for age, gender, uh, weight or BMI, socioeconomic status, uh, they still saw higher rates of blood, uh, blood pressure, osteoporosis, diabetes, renal disease, uh, cancer and cardiovascular illnesses. So again, <clears throat> more repetition of the same. Sicker people, but they live longer. These are all, by the way, pictures of uh, survivors who have made it to 100 years and longer. So, <clears throat> Could this be a bias? Is it reporting bias or an ascertainment bias? In other words, are uh, Holocaust survivors more likely to get the attention of uh, government folks? Are they more likely to get the attention of people who are doing surveys like this? Again, um, these, this was a case control study, so uh, and they were sicker. So the increased um, uh, longevity is not likely to be uh, um, a reporting bias, and the increased uh, disease rates, again, not likely to be a reporting bias. Now, what is this unique resilience? Resilience is commonly defined as adaptive characteristics of individuals to cope with and recover from adversity. Psychosocial determinants promoting resilience include optimism, cognitive flexibility, active coping skills, maintaining a, su a supportive social network, attending to personal physical well-being, and embracing a personal moral compass. It is conceivable that the Darwinist ability to survive among Holocaust survivors who reached Israel was associated with favorable resilience despite the enduring consequences of their chronic diseases. So again, um, what was the conclusions of the study? Higher rates of uh, comorbidities, lower mortality among survivors, Holocaust survivors, may be associated with health literacy, unique resilience characteristics among the survivors, and as usual, more research is needed. Um, as uh, If you've made it this far, as usual, I certainly appreciate your interest on other videos in this area, we've talked about Ecclesiastes, where uh, the book of the Bible, where King Solomon, an older King Solomon, is um, credited as the author, and he starts off with the existential vacuum. What is that? That's the quote, vanity, vanity, all is vanities. Um, if you haven't read that uh, book of the Bible, you're not familiar with it. Maybe you've heard of the birds, uh, the song, to everything there's a season, a time to be born, a time to die. All of these uh, videos, again, are focusing around having a purpose in your life. Uh, pop quiz, what's the purpose in my life? As I've shared many, many times, it's to get this information out about uh, health behaviors, the impact of lifestyle, insulin resistance, and the fact that we can prevent the vast majority of death and disability that's happening in this country and this world. Thank you for your interest. 
Have a two-day event in uh, Louisville, November 8th and 9th. Get your CIMT and all of your labs.